एवरी वन वेलकम टू इट्स हेल्दी मैंशन चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर नाइन ऑफ डॉक्टर रिचर्ड यूजेस दैट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ सिमिलर एमिड सो लेट्स बिगिन इंट्रोडक्शन द सिमिलैरिटी कैन बी ऑप्टेन ऑन जेनेरिक स्पेसिफिक एंड इंडिविजुअल लेवल हैंस वंस ऑप्टेंड इट एज टू बी एडमिनिस्टर्ड This point we have learned in the chapter that is selection of remedy of Richard Eugenius. He says the same thing that the similarity can be obtained on generic, specific, and individual level. So next, this can be done by keeping the rule in mind of single, simple medicine, rarely constitutional, and minutely. Doctor Hanneman had a strong aversion to polypharmacy, which was prevalent during his time. He said that definite results were obtained with a single remedy. In this practice, he has always used a simple single remedy. He had never repeated the dose as long as the medicine was acting favorably. Now, administration of similar remedy rules. First point: single simple medicine. Doctor Drysdale showed that the alternation of remedies would revive the susceptibility. which would otherwise seem to have been exhausted you just view on alternation of remedies was that it disagreed with this view he said that if we carefully examine the case we can find a third remedy that would cover up all the full totality of symptoms and would avoid the use of alternation of two remedies you just only advocated this rule in complex cases further he followed always single simple remedy second point is administration of similar remedy should given rarely he speaks of monopharmacy and says that he has never repeated the dose until the action of the former has ceased third point is administration of remedy constitutionally it should be chosen from the totality of symptoms and based on physical makeup of the body now fourth point is administration of the remedy minutely it is important to note that mother tincture was used for local applications example the use of arnica rustox arsenic for bruise strains and burns whereas the internal use was done with an high alternations and proceed from smaller doses to larger ones so remedies should be given in two small doses to excite aggravation or collateral disturbances that is here he is telling about the homeopathy aggravation in organ on second edition use of infinitesimal doses and thousands and millions in third edition of organ on there is theory of drug dynamization you just rejected the preparations of dr hanneman fink and swan call it as fluxion potency the power of medicines is great as the medicinal solution through diffusion is capable of having many points of contact to the living matter so you understand the uses mind behind the administration of similar remedy thank you for watching